Hello, my VT4 people, and I'm back again. I told you I was gonna be back, and you see me. So, as I told you before from my last video, if you didn't watch it, it's gonna be here, here, whatever on the screen. I'm gonna put it in the description below so you can definitely watch it. Um, this video is definitely gonna be, you know, as I said before, just something new that I learned, and this week I'm gonna learn a back, what is a back walkover? It is a front walkover, but I'm gonna try to do the back walkover. And if you don't know what that is, I'm gonna put it right here so you can see. And I'm definitely gonna be following the Reddick twins. They're amazing. And if you don't know who the Reddick twins are, I'm gonna put that right here. They've been in gymnastics, I don't know how long. I think their mother is like a gymnast as well, but I don't know, I don't know over that. But they're really, really dope. Um, just to recap from my other video as well, I've been a dancer since I was three, but unfortunately I was told by my doctors like two, three years ago that I was, I'm not supposed to be dancing because both of my arms just fucked up. But we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> they just both popped out of place and ever since then they have never been the same. I'm not supposed to dance or do any excessive movements with the same, you know, arm or arms. I'm gonna attempt to do a back walk over and if you don't know what that is, I'm still gonna show you the video right here. Uh, <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna do that, but right now we're at Sutu Park and I have my yoga mat and I'm gonna attempt to do that, you know, back walk over. And before that, I'm gonna do some stretching that you should definitely do before you do any type of dance move or ballet move because your body will boom on you before you even know it. So I'm gonna show you some things that I do know and then we're gonna try that back walk over. Pray for me guys, because we got two broke arms here, so we gonna figure this out. <laughs> Period. Be for people, we got this. You got me, I got you, you know. are not the only way you know to stretch your muscles out before you attempt to do any flips or dance moves and, and I don't want to you know frighten you guys but if you had any problems doing any of the stretching that I've just done I would definitely put some links below to help you guys you know do some other stretching because it would definitely help you out a little more I know you see a different chain of scenery but there was you know some things going on that we were liking so it's okay we're still here so back to what I was saying before you attempt to do a back walkover, you definitely need to know how to do a back bend. So I know two ways to do a back bend. There's a simpler way and then there's an extreme way, but I will definitely show you how to do both. Okay, the first one is starting off from the floor. Okay, and you lay down and you will do like put your arms behind your head and then scrunch, like scrunch. <laughs> Push your feet up as close as possible to your butt. And then you're gonna lift off, and your hands have to be straight, like next to your ears, not bent or anything. And your your um, feet have to be like arched, as you say, not like limping and stuff. <laughs> so that's the first one I know how to do. The second one I know how to do is just doing a back bend, starting off from standing upward. So the way you want to do that is standing straight. Attempt to go backwards, right? Don't be scared, just attempt it, it's fine. So you can go backwards, like that. And it's the same movements, and your arms will be next to your ears, and your hands will be plastered straight down, and then your feet will be down as well. It's kind of weird talking to them. <laughs> okay, and that's it. Whoop. The next day. Hey y'all! I know y'all seen a different scenery, different clothes, but it was a lot going on yesterday and it was just 90 degrees and I was about to pass out. I really look crazy and I did not want y'all to see me that way. But we back again. We're gonna figure this out, this backward bend, and we see how it goes. So I just wanna let everyone know that please, please, please always put your hair up. I definitely did not 
and that is not okay when you're like trying to do like dance moves and any type of like flexible moves you do not want your hair in the way and you can see i have long ass braids so that was not cute you don't want to have your hair like caught in the middle of your fingers or being caught on your foot when you're trying to do this flip with me i showed you how to do a back bend either standing up then starting a back bend or sitting down and going to a backward position i want to let you guys know i've seen the reddick twins and the next step that they told me and you to do is definitely put one of your foot feet <laughs> close to your head as close as you can and i would definitely show you guys next so as you see you want to get one of your feet close as possible to your head and you want your head to look down on the floor as arched as you want it to be like try to look at your foot that's arched lord have mercy this is breaking my back <laughs> <laughs> since you and i are not experts please start off from an elevated surface do not start it from the floor because that would not end well so i'm going to start off with bed and we're going to try it from there okay oh my god okay i'm so scared then This is, you know, the end of today because I accomplished, I feel like, a lot. But we're going to see each other tomorrow and try to perfect this, you know, back walkover. See you tomorrow. Bye, my beauty for people. See ya. The next day. Anything can be done if you put your mind to it. You don't want to hesitate. You don't want to psych yourself out and say, oh, I can't. That this move is impossible. Or, like, I need someone there. Fear does take over the mind. It is your worst enemy, and you do not want to have that in you. You just need to push yourself and say that you got it. I still want you guys to go back and look at it, like the strengths and, you know, our weaknesses. But at the end of the day, I still continue. So I really hope you guys can follow along.